While examining a patient with neuropathy, first we examine the gait as seen in this video. This is typical bilateral foot drops patient is having high stepping gait that is characteristic of the distal muscle weakness, so typically of neuropathy. When this child is asked to stand on the his toes and on the heels, the child has difficulty. The child can partially stand on the toes but has difficulty in standing on the toes and heels. If we examine the uh, foot clearly, then there are high arches bilaterally noted and patient is having the pest cavus deformity that is bilaterally seen. So intrinsic muscles are weak. Romberg's test is done to rule out any uh, cord involvement or dorsal column involvement. So in this patient, the Romberg test is negative. Spine is always seen in patient with neuropathies for any neuromuscular kyphoscoliosis in this patient was normal. Hands are visualized here. So patient is having atrophy of the intrinsic muscles of hand as well as patient is having the claw hand deformity that is noted in the form of hyperextension in the metacarpopharyngeal joint and uh, ex uh, flexion deformity at the distal interpharyngeal joints. So this is basically typically claw hand deformity and uh, these hands are typically of uh, the distal muscle weakness that is typically seen in case of neuropathy. So patient is having gross atrophy of the thinar and hypothenar uh, muscles and as well as the claw hand deformity. Similar findings are seen on the opposite hand and patient is having the gross deformity and atrophy. If you clearly visualize the legs, then there is a marked distal atrophy and these are stroke-like legs and having a, again the high arch uh, feet with the pest cavus deformity that is noted bilaterally. So these are characteristic with the distal muscle weakness or neuropathies. The power is checked here. Uh, the child is unable to dorsiflex and even not able to move uh, any kind of movement. So power is low, dorsiflexion is 0 by 5. While on, pl uh, on the plantar flexion, the child is able to um, exert a bit and that is uh, around 3 by 5 here. Uh, and similar on the opposite side, on dorsiflexion it is 0 by 5 and on plantar flexion it is 3 by 5 power. And uh, it is typically of neuropathy that uh, the dorsiflexion is more effective as compared to plantar flexions. On checking the deep plantar flexes, as you see here, these are absent and these are even absent with the reinforcement. So the deep plantar flexes are uh, absent here by